Hey everyone, this is Tyler Cruz from TylerCruz.com. Uh, in this screencast, I wanted to review the service called CrazyCTR uh, at CrazyCTR.com. Um, this service is it's relatively new. It's only about two to three months old, um, and I've been using it myself for about two weeks now, and it's really good. I really like it. Um, so the goal of this service is to help you increase your, your click-through rate um, basically by split testing a lot of different types of images. Um, w so what it does is you will, you will give it an image and then with that one image this service will basically create a whole bunch of different uh, variations of that image for you to, to split test. Um, w again with the goal in mind of, of uh, getting the highest click-through rate that you can and as you should know by now if you don't already uh, increasing your click-through rate is one of the most important things you can do to uh, increase your your, R your ROI in the end because you can usually get better um, better rates for traffic by having a higher click-through rate and, and that goes pretty much across the board on any traffic source okay so with that little introduction in mind uh, let's just get started um, the service is really simple to use and I have an account here so I'm just going to click on start now there's basically there's when you when you start the service uh, there's basically three different options you can do you can gather images from the web and add them into your into your um, basically into your account or you can um, you can upload uh, your images or else you can just get straight started um, and tweaking um, so in 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 the um, interest of keeping this this review fairly short, I'm not going to bother going through the web and, and like uploading images. Um, I I already have some uploaded for this review, so let's just get started. So we'll just go to tweak your images here, and we will just go to images gathered using the extension. So you can see here that I have. Um, let me just remove one here, a duplicate. I have two sample images that I had um, created for this this review, and we'll just let, we'll just let's just use this one. Um, let's use this one because uh, this is actually a standard uh, Facebook size. It, actually, it might be a little bit bigger, but it, it's it's basically the same dimensions as a Facebook ad size. So, and I, I should mention too that crazy CTR it's a little misleading because if you go to um, if you go to their their home page here um, like when I first saw their their site I thought it was only for I thought it was only for Facebook and plenty of fish but really it's for anything it, it will you know it's for split testing images period it does it works for anything because it's it split tests your images on any platform so just wanted to get that out of the way okay so getting back to here um, basically, what uh, Crazy CTR does is, is again, it it will create variations of your uploaded images for you to split test. Um, so, for example, if we go to thin border tweaks here, you can see that there are a, there's a different there's about ten or fifteen no, there's twelve variations right under this the thin border um, option. And if I click on one, you can see here that uh, under the preview that it has added a, a black border for the image. Um, if I, these are really thin borders, so it, you might not be able to see it that great. But you can see that it has added uh, different uh, borders. So if I actually click on Preview here, you can see that it has added 12 different colors of border on our images for us. So, for example, if you only wanted a lime green border, you could just click on lime green border, and then you could just you know save this image. Um, you also have the options of saving it as a PNG or a JPG, um, and as you can see here, there's different options on how you save it. If you want it in different folders for each image, um, what you can also do is uh, apply the tweaks, and then you could you could click on save, and then you could uh, save. Um, you could choose where you want to save it, and then um, save all of the tweaks as a zip file so that you can see instead of you know saving one by one you can just save like 12 at once for example or if you wanted to apply this to like 10 different images you could do that 
apply it to 10 different images, and then you would have, I guess, uh, 120 different images <laughs> with a click of a button. Um, so you can see how quick, how quickly it can do that for you. Um, so that was just one one example of one style. That's just a thin thin border tweak. Um, we, it, we here's another one, medium border. So you can see, see that the, the medium border is in place. So it's just a thicker border, basically. And here's uh, an even thicker border. You can see here. So right now, this seems fairly basic. And I'll tell you right now, like obviously, you could do this in Photoshop your, yourself, right? You could just add a border. Um, and that's totally something that you could do yourself, but the whole point of crazy CTR is to save time, and it's just such a handy service that you can do. I mean, you can do this in bulk, and you can do it between all your color colors. Like again, you could get it in all of these different colors. Um, some of these you won't be able to get depending on what level of membership you get. For example, the um, I think like the rainbow border, for example, does it only comes with with the the more uh, upgraded membership but you can see that you could within seconds you could just select your image and then apply tweaks and then save to computer and boom you already have on this version alone you, got, you have 13 variations of your one image that you can start uploading to your traffic source um, and start testing but again that's only for thick uh, thick borders um, if we just keep going here let me just resize the window here a little bit. Um, if we keep uh, moving on, there's um, neon borders, there's shaped borders, and um, so now you can see that it doesn't just do borders, it actually changes the shape of the border and and um, will make it rounded, for example. So if we just go to preview, you can see that all of the different types of um, um, borders that it and variations that it will add to your image. So you can see right off the bat that well, yes, you could do some of the, the simple borders in Photoshop yourself. Some of the more like uh, advanced uh, borders would take a bit more, you know, if you wanted to do it yourself. Yeah, you could, but it's going to take more time out of your hand, out, out of your hands. Um, another thing, let me just grab a quick sip of coffee here. Another thing in Photoshop that you could do yourself is you could um, create actions and have these somewhat automated for yourself, but there, there's so many different amount of customization that you can do in Crazy CTR that it's really not worth your time um, because this service is really cheap already and I'll get to the price at the end of this uh, review but it's already so cheap that it's it's really not worth your time to do this yourself in Photoshop even if you created actions to, to somewhat help automate things in the future it's just so much faster and easier to use Crazy CTR um, so I'll just keep on going uh, through some of the other um, variations that you can do. So that was shaped borders. Here's just some even some more shaped borders here. I'll just click on preview so you can see some of the other ones. Now, um, for those that of you who are you know still trying to get some stuff, uh, some some profitable campaigns going on Facebook or any other traffic source for that matter. Again, you, just split testing your images is incredibly important, and you just may be surprised how the smallest change can make or break your campaign. For example, you, you, let's say you you only tested this this uh, this red rounded image, and it it got a uh, a point a point zero five percent click through rate on Facebook. For whatever reason, if you had split tested the black border. For whatever reason, this might have performed, um, you know, at 0.07% better. It's only 0.02% better, but that would j that change alone can make or break your campaign. I mean, could that could that could have an effect of, you know, like a five like a five cent or even possibly ten cent difference on your your cost per click. And you just keep doing that. You just keep split testing, you know, like a hundred images or more, and you'll eventually find an image with a really high click through rate and that can make your and turn your campaign profitable um, and you can never predict it either that's you know one thing that everyone like every successful affiliate marketer has kind of agreed upon is you can never really predict what will work and what won't um, like you always be surprised what will work uh, for example you you might be promoting let's say um, something like I don't know let's say some type of hair loss uh, 
a medicine for it, um, or like hair replacement medicine for it for men. And why would a heart work for that, right? It doesn't make any sense. But you split test it, and for whatever reason, it it works. You know, so um, you just have to keep testing everything. I'll just keep going here so you can get an idea of what more of the types of images you can do. It doesn't just do shapes. You can see, see here that it does different types of um, kind of uh, uh, kind of the color tone, and uh, this is kind of like a saturation effects. And again, yes, you could do this in Photoshop yourself, but it's just so much quicker if you. Again, all you would have to do if you wanted to just test these these uh, eleven variations itself, you just do apply tweaks, and then save to computer, and boom, you have your twelve images all in your in your exact same. Um, image size and and saved for you so it's just so much quicker to do um, you can see here that you have the blur effect and noise and playing with saturation levels I'll just keep moving on here you just have some more color types this one is kind of neat you got some image masks it's similar to the the border shapes um, image distortion this kind of uh, is kind of neat and something that would be a little bit more difficult to do in Photoshop at, at, a, at a whim but you can see here we've just got some stuff that's upside down and you've got like some embossed looks and just changing your, your image around and again you'll be surprised how sometimes these really goofy looking images might really work for your campaign sometimes people just click on images because they they stand out you know and they're different from all the, the regular looking generic ads out there Anyways, I'll just keep moving on. These are really actually useful ones, the badges. You can see here, so um, these work well for um, kind of like as seen on TV offers uh, or, you know, like product sales. Um, again, it just helps ads stand out. And um, you, again, you could create these 12 variations of your ad, in a, uh, you know, in like seconds. And signs and marks is another cool option here. Um, so it just adds, you know, kind of a, a bit of a call to action to, to your to your image. Um, one other thing I wanted to uh, include here is that there's actually a random tweaks generator which if you really wanted to just kind of randomize totally oh, your, your image you can um, choose what type of combinations you want here and then hit generate and it will actually do a combination of all of the different images together so it'll get you a very randomized image um, so if you know that your base image works like for example um, um, hang on a second here if you know that your your base image of this girl um, is all is your highest uh, click through rate based on completely different images like of of girls then you can start to just do the the minor tweaks to this particular image to increase it even further. So again, if we just do uh, generate on the random tweaks, we can see here that just very different types of images of this the same girl, but you can see just lots of different variations of her. Whoops. Um, and this will basically you could just use this forever because the com number of combinations is probably like a million different combinations, and you can just keep doing that forever, and you just get. A, countless number of variations of this girl so you just keep it so crazy CTR it's really useful for split testing your ads um, I just finished talking to the owner of uh, of uh, crazy CTR and he said that there's going to be uh, at the end of July uh, he's going to add a lot of new features including a lot of new new types of tweaks um, as well as just a, a lot of different um, types of features um, that will help you to further increase your your click through rate so you can kind of keep an eye out for that uh, at the end of July. So it's good to know that there's um, that he's constantly working on the site. And again, it's only like two or three months old, so you can probably expect a lot of uh, more features and more types of tweaks to be added in the future. Okay, so um, that's that's crazy CTR um, in a nutshell. It's very useful for um, helping create variations of your ads um, to help um, increase your click-through rate. Um, so I will just get to the price so that you can go through the pricing here. So you can see here that there are two different types of um, memberships. There's the basic and the pro. Basically the pro just gives you access to more um, tweaks of um, your image variations. It gives you basically more variations that you can choose from. Um, 
about like three, uh, almost twice as much. Um, and then you can see here, here is the prices. You can see that it's very, very reasonable. If you get the yearly plan, it's only uh, seven fifty a month. Um, so for seven fifty a month, you know, you're talking, you know, like what, like thirty cents a day or something like that. Um, less than thirty cents a day. So it's it's very very cheap. Uh, if you wanted to, I think they even have a trial somewhere. I believe they have a trial version for like a week. Let me just go. I think you can test it out for a week. Yeah, something like that. Um, but even if you just wanted to do it for a month, you know, 15 bucks, 50 cents a day, you can try it out. Um, it's actually useful if you just wanted to do this and just use it for a month and then just create all of your ads that you're using now. And then even if you didn't want to continue after that. Um, I'll just finish by saying that uh, the owner set me up with a really nice uh, discount for you guys. Um, so he's giving 20% off for life. Uh, and it doesn't matter what membership you get or anything. And the coupon code for that, when you sign up, it's just Tyler Cruz, all in uppercase. Or I, I actually I don't know if case, if it's case uh, case sensitive or not, but just Tyler Cruz, one word, you'll get twenty percent off for life. So it's it's a really good deal. It's extremely cheap. Um, again, and and I was basing that off of the pro version, but yeah. So I I recommend this. I use this. Um, I use this myself, and I've I've found it, it does help. And you'll be surprised how how much uh, just simple variations can improve your click through rate. So there you go, um, crazy CTR. Uh, you might want to try it out if you're having trouble with um, getting you know high click through rate on your ads. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.